I just wanted to ask you how long. How long is that going to be your story? How long is the fear? How long is not having the skill set? How long is what mom and dad did not do? How long is that going to be your story? At some point, excuses are going to not only get old, but they're not going to make you any money. Feeling stuck is oftentimes a catalyst for you to start moving, moving in a different direction. Ask yourself, has what you've been doing been working? Yeah, I know that the drinking and the weed, yeah, I know that the yelling, I know that busy work and keeping yourself grounded in your grind, but you're actually not producing results that are healthy for you. How long is that gonna be your story? How you handle one thing is how you usually handle everything. And I wanna know how do you handle your pain? Where do you go in your dark places? How do you handle your loneliness? Because those things, those emotional barriers are often the things that get in the way of being successful in business, being successful in relationships is how we handle the dark places. My name is Kristen Dent and I'm not here to be your friend. I'm here to transform you. Transform your students, transform your leaders, transform you. Because I know what it's like to feel stuck in the dark. I know that you're capable of more, but you can't move forward. Which is why I'm a professor of psychology, author of several books, the founder and CEO of Mental Wellness University. And most importantly, I'm here to let you know that you can do it too. You can start a business in college. You can go back to school. You can drop out of school. But the one thing that separates me from a lot of people is this, this word called discipline. Something that a lot of us believe we do not need to have. Do you have a routine? Do you have a schedule? Do you understand that you can wake up at five o'clock in the morning, exercise, learn something, journal? A lot of the craziness and the thoughts that's going on stems from here. Nine tenths of diseases start in the mind. Do you cleanse your mind? Do you cleanse your thoughts, your feelings and emotions or are they dirty? Mental health is not viewed as a category where you check it yes or no. It is viewed on a spectrum, on a continuum. All of us have mental health. The question that is proper is how healthy is your mind? How healthy are your thoughts? Ask yourself that. How healthy are you? Are you ready to change? Are you ready for more? Are you ready to bounce back? Are you, ready, are you ready to let go of the grip that grief and loss has on you? Are you ready to respond differently instead of reacting to everything? Are you ready to stop saving everyone else and finally save yourself? Because you keep yourself busy in entertaining and making food for other people that God never gets an opportunity to come down and actually heal you. So you, you become comfortable in your brokenness. You use your pain as your story but God never really gets the glory because you never allow him to heal you. Are you afraid of crying? Healing is a choice. Give yourself permission to heal. And if you need someone to talk to, you can definitely go to mentalwellnessuniversity.com slash find a coach. There are people that are ready, ready, trained, and willing to help you. But at some point, we just gotta look at ourselves and say, is what I'm doing working? What do you want for yourself? What are you going to achieve this week to move closer to that goal? I hope that this is helpful. I hope that this is a wake up call, that there is somebody waiting for you on the other side of your obedience. On the other side of your yes, you are the answer to someone's prayer. And someone is waiting and even questioning God because you haven't shown up with that idea, you haven't shown up with that business, you haven't moved to that state, you haven't written that paper. You haven't written that book that someone is praying for. So if you aren't seeing the results in your life, I want you to shift your mindset that it's not about you. When you practice self-care on a regular basis, when you are taking care of yourself daily, hourly, you don't always live a life where you need to escape to get a vacation because you can vacate here and here and here from the food that is polluting your thoughts, feelings, and motives. My name is Kristen Dent, and I want you to know that I'm hoping you choose healing. I'm hoping that you choose breakthrough. And just to remind you that we all want a breakthrough, but nobody wants to break. But it's okay to break because you can rebuild yourself into the healthy person that you actually want to be.